good morning to everyone and first of all thank you for subscribing my channel and liking my videos hope few of you started preparing my recipes anyway today is a sunday and it's a happy sunday and happy sunday can't be without good food yes guess what lunch i'm going to make today i'm going to make some nawabi biryani yes so first let me tell you the ingredient i have taken for nawabi biryani please note it down that's very important first i'm going to make the mutton biryani is the one thing everyone like whoever is he is indian or non indian if it is not spicy it's liked by everyone i have taken a mutton piece see the pieces this size 1 and 1/2 cup of beaten yogurt i will write down uh, all the uh, ingredient in uh, description four tomato well chopped ginger and garlic paste two tablespoon ghee it's it's it can be as per your choice i don't use much ghee i mix ghee with the white oil any vegetable oil you can mix ghee salt as per taste coriander leaf finely chopped pudina leaf mint leaf finely chopped green chilies and any biryani masala which is available in the market who are not staying in india you can get in any indian supermarket biryani masala and one of the most important ingredient which is chopped onion i have taken five pieces of chopped onion and which is fried in ghee ghee and oil this called bista it has to be crispy fried I could be running or I'm chasing you, but I won't. 'Cause I got better, better things to do. I'd rather spend my precious time chasing somebody who loves me too. If I got a my style, generally people do not marinate the mutton or chicken before making biryani, but I keep it for half an hour. It tastes better comparatively. So. Please follow my marination process. The potato has been fried nicely. It will be in shallow fry. Make sure it should not get burned or get in red before it get red. Just take it out. So now let's marination done. Now let's start the cooking. Follow my process. I am going to add ghee. What I am taking? I am giving this ghee in oil.
will add marinated mutton pieces one by one for fry. Let it fry in low flame. We'll add the spices later. While cooking, frying the mutton, I have soaked basmati rice in water. We'll cook this rice in half boil. Make sure the rice should not get boiled or it, it should not get softer. Before it gets softer, just take it out and we will mix it with the cooked mutton later for biryani. See frying is almost done and slowly slowly we are going to add all the ingredients here. First of all we need to fry this ginger garlic paste. All marinated spices, leftover spices. Mint leaf. Few I added while marinating. Green chilies, coriander leaf, tomatoes and the yogurt look at the mixture I have put in frying pan We are going to add little bit more biryani masalas to give flavor. We have taken it two tablespoons before, so I am adding one more tablespoon to give extra flavor in it.
now again we are going to make it steam for some time before adding the water hi this chick the mutton is almost tender and it's soft we'll add a little bit of brista fried onion here Check the salt. It's enough. process we we'll keep it for some time just two three minutes so the brista get nicely mixed with the mutton it's in low flame now the rice is ready for biryani rice is ready for biryani make sure the rice should not get overcooked so here is the rice i have given it for dry can you check yes this is one so we we'll put mix rice brista and mutton in a layer we'll add fried potato and the boiled egg i'm just boiling it So let's come back for giving them dum. We we'll layer it up with mutton, cooked mutton, brista, potato, and egg. So we'll add one one item in one layer, and we'll put very thin layer of rice. Well, next layer will add egg and brista. And potato as well. Again, I'm going to add rice. My layering is done. See how it look. I have added all the ingredient I kept for layering. I have switched on the gas and then just cover it with this. And I will. I have taken a atta, you know, wheat dough. So we'll. Put this dough around the lid so that the steam dust should not come out for out of it. Like this. See my ceiling is ready, so steam cannot come out from anywhere. So we put the biryani handi for steaming, and 
will leave it for an hour minimum half an hour okay if you keep it for an hour it's the best okay so we'll come back when the biryani is done let's see how's the situation of biryani see it's still getting them we are going to switch off the gas first and we'll open the bread dough slowly slowly it's really hot it will look like this you can really understand the real biryani taste while you make it in the same procedure and eat thanks for today so it's our lunch time so I made a raita with this as a side dish it's nothing but a plain yogurt mixed with the tomato uh, uh, onion cucumber and very small cut and little green chili you can add coriander leaf and i put a lot of spices like cumin roasted cumin powder and uh, salt black pepper powder chaat masalas many stuff okay so yogurt is always good for health with biryani definitely it's very healthy Thank you so much watching for watching my video. Hope you will like and comment, please. I'm waiting for your feedback as I'm in very experimental level, very startup. I'm not used to camera, not used to YouTube. It's a lockdown time, negativities are around. So I'm trying to be positive, trying to give you positive vibe. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for the day.